Well, another day on the road, and we're gonna bring you a couple different things in today's video. One, uh, we're on the road to check out a brand new listing that's coming to opposingcylinders.com. So check out our website. We have uh, right around 120 or so vehicles, hot rods, customs, trucks, everything for sale. This car is gonna be killer. It's coming soon, it's coming this week. So by the time you watch this video, it'll already be up. And we're also gonna check on the Murrock Roadster, which is currently at Low Man Rods. So we're just getting it serviced, make sure everything is okay before some upcoming trips with the car. Uh, the tires need replaced just some of the the rubber from uh, being 20 years old uh, belts and more so we're gonna check on that car and uh, we're gonna get some new tires on there here uh, very soon hopefully this week so it's all in today's video we're gonna check out more cars at low man and rod shop we're gonna check out the car for sale let us know if you have a vehicle for sale and uh, check out our website again opposing cylinders.com so let's do it Let's show you some cool hot rods in today's video. Well, we're going to show you an amazing vehicle that has now come up for sale on OpposingCylinders.com. So you want to check out the website for this latest listing. Is a 51 Anglia behind us. And this car is super slick, all leather interior, heat, air, 327 with a 400 turbo uh, behind it. So let's take a look at this car for sale. We're gonna give you a quick walk around. And again, check out opposingcylinders.com for all the details and so forth. The blue paint is super slick. Again, you'll see all the air conditioning. It's all set up, polished, manifold. Everything is slick underneath. Um, all the air conditioning and heat it all does work and it does have everything all set up these even flip out the old original turn signals now it has normal turn signals on it as well but those do flip out so it's super cool let's show you inside so lions upholstery out of brookville ohio did the entire upholstery does have a great stereo setup in it as well all the door panels are all done the carpet is all plush the seats are perfect no rips tears stains it does have a modified dash you'll see that in the description again all of the controls for the heat and the air everything works it is an automatic and you'll see your stereo system up top in the finished headliner so the headliner is all complete leather as well as it does have a small back seat and you'll see the speakers on each side so if you have a little one or someone that wants to fit back here this is a great car for them to be able to fit in and we'll show you inside the trunk as well it does have more storage inside the trunk so it has a nice gas tank to it um, six disc cd changer all your amps your battery everything is accessible inside the trunk again all the panels are all uh, leather all the door jams everything are painted just as slick you do have some striping just on the tail lights and then down the body line just to set it off the doors all shut real nice again they open up wide for easy access you do have the original drip rails those are all solid we'll show you up on the roof tilt wheel so this is easy to drive uh, currently showing um, a little over 12,000 miles on the car but we'll show you the doors again shut super nice so doors shut real good So the chassis under this is actually a complete rolling chassis from Fat Man. So from front to rear, it is all a brand new chassis, it has their front end, everything. So it is not an original chassis, um, which is really built to set it up to ride even better uh, than anything else stock. So it does kind of have that nice front end. And again, disc brakes and drums in the rear. So built to drive. So check out this car, again, opposingcylinders.com. This one's gonna be priced to sell. It's ready to go to a new home. It is located near Dayton, Ohio. 
Um, so there'll be a, a photo collection. We'll show some of the underside. It has a fat man chassis front end under it. Disc brakes in the front, drums in the rear. So it is built to drive. Again, all the creature comforts that you want. This is a show car that you can hop in and go really, I think, anywhere that you want to go. So check it out. You better hop on this one soon because I think this one will sell quick. So posingcylinders.com, great ride. Okay, while I'm here, I do have to show two other trucks because you can't go into a garage like this where the Anglia is and not show two other killer cars and share it with all of you, right? So one is a 55 Ford F100 behind me. I'm gonna show you that one real quick and a 36 Ford. Now this one is actually turned into an extended cab and a ton of metal work has been done to this car. It's basically been lengthened about five inches. So see if you can pick up all, all the details or just some of the details in the one directly behind me. Comment below as well, have you ever seen this truck in person? Now it shows probably more of a powder blue on here, but in my eyes it is more of a turquoise. It changes with the lights, but you can see everything has been lengthened here with the extended cab, all the body reveals, the body, uh, the reveal or the belt line has been added on down at the bottom. The running boards have been lengthened five inches. So. The roof, it's a, another cab that they extended, I think like 10 inches or something up here. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but all the back end. So this thing is amazing. Again, it doesn't do it justice inside. All leather interior. And this one has been on the road uh, and done road trips everywhere. So really neat. And then next to us is another beautiful truck and this one is super slick, the 55 Ford F100, and it is as slick as it looks here. All the trim, all the chrome is all perfect inside. Look how nice this thing is. All the, the bed, all the wood inside the bed, all around the bumpers are perfect. You just never know what you're gonna find when you show up to a garage and uh, talk to different people. But uh, thank you to the gentleman for sharing both of these rides with us. We hope you like them as well. Uh, before we get on the road, we're gonna show you more rides today at Low Man Rods. And again, we're on our way there to pick up some wheels for the Murroc, but we had to show you three amazing rides here, but check out the Anglia again, opposingcylinders.com. This one is for sale now. Get it while it lasts. Well, you have to, appreciate those cars in there right i mean again seeing them in person is totally different than um you know video and so forth but we hope you like those we hope you like the anglia it's coming up for sale again we are on the road again we're heading toward low man rods and we're going to show some of the changes we'll have timmy share some of the things that they're just uh servicing on the murroc roadster and we'll share a few more rides at low man rod shop uh tip city ohio here so it's a day on the road and sharing cars and projects with all of you so we hope you like some of the rides we've shown so far, so more projects coming from Low Man Rods. Here we go. Okay, let's go inside finish shop, check out the Murroc. I know Timmy wants to go over some stuff and let's load up some wheels, get some new tires. Let's go in. So we've been uh, looking at uh, Kevin's car over the last few days and uh, we kind of just been going over and bolt checking it. The uh, car hasn't, it's been built for 20 years so I figured it'd be a good time to go over everything. Changed oil on it, uh, went through new filters, um, went through and cleaned the underside of the car. Uh, we've been, brakes are a little squeaky so we're gonna, while well, Kevin has the wheels off and everything like that so we're gonna go through the brakes and make sure everything's good on that. Uh, we thought we may have possibly had a brake leak in the rear, uh, but instead, when we talked to Jeff Kugel, he said there's a vent on top of the rear end that we needed to check. Good possibility that it just had moisture build up and stuff is coming out. of. He said we could change it, but uh, it involved pulling the whole rear end. So maybe it's something we do in 
the future, but uh, we'll go ahead and get this car ready for, because you're taking it, what, Arizona, Arizona. March? So we like to try to get the car pretty done as close as possible so we can still enjoy it and we can always do stuff later. So uh, I think the biggest thing, biggest complaint was what, the squeaky brakes? <laughs> Squeaky brakes, I think. I was wanted to check the rear end. I know it need oil, but really just serviced and checked out because, yeah. you know, it doesn't have a ton of miles over the last 20 years. Yeah, I think, uh, what, 1792 is what it rolled I think so. so. So over 20 years, it's averaging less than 100 miles yeah, I, <laughs> uh, a year. I want to say we're the first people to probably do the oil change on it because I broke the paint on the, the drink. Did one. you? Yeah, and okay. uh, the oil filter is painted uh, engine color. So. Okay. I'm assuming we were the first people to ever change the oil on it. Uh, wasn't too bad, honestly. We had to take the hood off and the uh, the side panel off, but other than that, they made this car really simple to work on. It was literally the only things I had to do was two bolts, and it was two quick release pins. Nice. So it's really not a bad, um, not a big complaint. I mean, uh, I think the only other thing we found was the master cylinder looks to be leaking under the dash. But uh, I mean, the car has been sitting for 20 years and not very many miles. Uh, so I can see that being a pretty big, but other than that, it's a really solid car and I'm glad to see somebody's gonna get out there and drive it this year. So what you're saying is I'm almost ready to go to Arizona. Almost getting ready. We're getting there. Uh, I'd like to get a, the brakes at least, uh, hopefully we don't have to change pads, but if we have to, we have to. Uh, I think I'm just gonna sand them down and we try that first. Yeah. I know I had some brake pads recently that I changed that were 20 years old and actually I ended up just cleaning them up multiple times and never never got out and up just having a little bit of stress fractures and that were squeaking. Yeah, and the rotors look The rotors look like look great. was brand new. <laughs> right, so I think it just was never really bed in mm -hmm. uh, when they got it done, so it probably has a film over the pads now. Yeah, I mean, I can, once I get down to it, I can I can clean this up too, so. Yeah. Uh, I think your brake leak on this side is not actually brake leak. I think it was actually, it looks like it'd be maybe uh, grease, because it's coming out from behind the, okay. the spindle. So I was gonna look at that too. I noticed it when I took the wheels off this morning. So I was gonna look more into that and uh, we're definitely gonna address the, the master cylinder issue. That'd be, I don't wanna ruin the interior now, so. Right, right. But other than that, it's a really solid car. I mean, not a lot of complaints out of it for being built for so long, but you never know. You'll see you going down the road later now, so. But uh, it has already the updated bushings from when we talked to Jeff. Uh, Jeff said the, the white bushings is what it needs to be and we didn't find any black bushings in this car nice. so i think we'll be a nice solid daily driver if you want to be <laughs> i don't know if we'll daily drive it <laughs> um but we are planning on driving this car more than anybody else or fred has ever driven it i know fred did drive the car again um it's probably the the car that he has the most miles mm -hmm. on but you know, it has... When you have so many cars, too, so... Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it has maybe 1,800 miles close, and I've added probably 10 of those mm -hmm. from our first drive. So, uh, it should be ready to go. And then we're going to have the tires uh, all shaved on the... Inside and outside. Inside and outside. So, you won't see any lettering. They'll be all smooth and mm -hmm. kind of update that look as well. And slightly a little taller of a tire. Yeah. It'll be, I think, roughly about maybe an inch taller in total. Yeah. So, so you should gain about a half inch all the way around the sidewall. So that'll make it look a little bit better. And I like a little bit of a hot rod rake. It'll give a little bit yeah, bigger you'll, of a, you'll a give sidewall. Yeah, a little bit more of, that, more of a rake. Yeah. So hopefully, I mean, it's the same size sidewall from the front to the rear now, yeah. but you're in a 17 and a 20. So I think you're going to, it's going to be a nice setup once it's done. Um, I mean, we're kind of surprised that the tires are still original for the build. I mean, they're 20 yeah. years old, 2000. Yeah. Uh, we just changed the belt as well on this car because, well, I didn't want to come apart and start beating all the paint off the <laughs> right. engine bay. Right. Uh, but yeah, everything so far has been dated back to the 2000s. And I think what this car is completed in what, 2002-ish? I think 2001, 2002, something like that. Okay, I was about to say the engine's from a 99 and it looks to be maybe a Corvette. Yeah. It was what it, it should have been for. I think it was a Camaro. Camaro. Would that be? I'm about to say, the da all yeah. I can see on the computer is a date, it's a 99 date code. Okay. So I didn't know which engine it is. It looks to be an LS6 intake at least, so. Yeah. I'm about to say it. He says it's an LS1 engine. All right, so I'm about to say it's, it'll be a pretty solid car. I mean, yeah. You shouldn't have any complaints out of it. I mean, it seems to fire just up and it sounds great, so. Yeah, it, and it runs pretty good. I mean, I haven't been all the way in it yet. Mm -hmm. 
you know, because I want to make sure it's okay before we really did it. And it was cold. If you saw the video we did last time, it was cold out. We were in Toboggan, so we weren't um, with cold pavement and stuff. I didn't want to break something the very first yeah. drive. And, I, and I'm known to break things, right? So <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Well, and your car, you also don't got heat either, so. No, we don't have heat. No. Yeah, you might need to get some heated seats or something. <laughs> yeah, I think when we uh, end up updating the interior for my back, my back isn't the best. So at some point we'll probably update the seat or the interior just uh, for more back support for myself that I can drive a little bit longer. Um, but right now I'll just put a cushion by myself. Yeah, I yeah. about to say it. Oh no, I guess the interior could update, use a little updating. I think it'd look great with like a like a darkish brown versus this. I think, a, I think a lighter color. A lighter? I think a lighter color. Like an off-white or something? Like a cream. Okay, yeah, I, I could see that. I, I, I think see. a cream in this, really rich leather looking, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, I can be talked out of it. Yeah. It just depends, but I don't want to go dark and show dust and dirt and mm -hmm. you see the, the stitching and everything when it's light. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, it's a, I mean, it's a great car. Yeah. Well, thanks to Nick, the whole Low Main Rods team here for just getting the car in, again, getting it serviced quickly. So really, it'll probably be here maybe a week or so. I got to get tires. We're going to load up the wheels here and get these all mounted, balanced, shaved, um, but really just getting it checked out. So if if you're in Ohio area, I know there's we got some cars from out of state in here as well. We'll show you some of those around here. but. Um, if you need service work, this is where we go locally. Um, they're probably an hour away from us at the very most, 45 minutes to an hour. But this is a place we go. You can check out Low Man Rods on our website, low, L-O-M-A-N, rods.com. Uh, but you can also give them a call at their shop, 937-679-5140. Uh, you'll probably want to talk to Tim or Mac, uh, but get on their schedule and uh, we'll have the five window in here as well. They're gonna do some metal work on that, get it dialed in, ready for paint work. But for years, probably 10 to 15 years at least now, they've been working on a lot of our cars. It's too many to count, uh, but thanks to those guys for getting the car in just for a real quick service. And thanks to Nick here as well. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, he worked on the 413 Coupe. He gets to work on the Murroc. We'll have to get him behind the wheel when it warms up here as well and let him drive the Murroc. Would you like that? I mean, I'm down for it. He, he's down for it. I would hope that he's down for driving a one in 10 car, but yeah. let's show you some more cars here at Low Man Rod Shop. We'll give you a, a quick tour and uh, keep continuing watching. We're gonna show you some uh, new projects here at Low Man Rods. Okay, while well, we're here uh, at Low Man Rods, we're gonna show you a few more cars in this shop and then we'll we'll show you a little bit more in the fab shop and maybe a little bit in body shop. We'll just see what we see, but this is more of a finish area back here. Uh, the Thunderbird is going together. So I think they're just taking this to a point and then it's going on for the owner to finish this, if I'm correct. Um, so they painted this and it's just starting to get together so the dash is in. Real neat Thunderbird. Um, the Firebird we've shown you before, full roll cage, twin turbo deal. Got a little Mustang, got the High Boy uh, 32 back in here. Looks like they're charging some air conditioning and checking the rear brakes on this one. There's the Pontiac Bill. Low Man Rods posted this on their Instagram. So it is a Pontiac sedan. And then uh, looks like the wagon here has a new set of wheels. Has it says steelies for this? Now this is all on air ride too, so this thing sits on the ground and it looks killer. Um, but updates on this one, uh, here's the old steelies. But that's a killer wagon if you've never seen this car before. And that one's from Kentucky. So just giving you a quick inside look here at Low Man Rods. Got the Murroc, our baby up there. And let's walk over to uh, their other buildings. Sometimes we try to come during our lunchtime because it's quiet. We don't have music playing and copyright. So sometimes people always ask, Kevin, why do you have music playing in the background? Because there's other music or there's wind noise or there's shop noise and we can't have live sound. So body shop is full. We'll show you a little bit in here. Looks like we're getting some doors, hoods painted. The Mustang is getting ready for paint. Got another one under cover. We got a uh, 61 bubble top. What a barracuda, there he is, there's a guy. In there, you're good. Um, there's the Thunderbird top as well, getting ready to be painted. And then uh, something in the paint booth. 
but it is a full house here inside the body shop and uh, let's show you the fab shop here next okay fab shop we'll show you uh, max sedan and then a cool f100 pickup as well they got the the body back on here and it's got new saddlebags and we'll show you a couple other uh, builds so max sedan this is riding on a precision hot rods chassis it looks like they're just finishing up the floor the tunnel uh, i know that they were working on the firewall and just motor mounts and getting everything dialed in this is the f100 it's on a tube chassis again they just put the body back on they're doing it looks like cab corners you got uh it's got saddlebags so mounting all the plumbing in between um getting the seat all mounted floors are done this one's gonna be really cool when it's done. Uh, if you've seen another video, we kind of did a highlight on the Buick Regal. This is a full roaster shop chassis build, twin turbo, uh, thousand plus horsepower. It's gonna have forge line wheels. This one is going to be over the top. And it looks like all the plumbing, we got a lot of metal work underneath. I know they've done a lot. This car is really gonna be spectacular when it's done making all the headers so you see all the different metal work um more than what i can fathom uh 57 chevy this one is on an art morrison chassis so brand new chassis under this i know low man rods is a dealer for low or for uh, art morrison so if you need a chassis contact them and they got a brand new lt4 underneath the cover so LT4 riding on an Art Morrison chassis. Uh, this one's getting a lot of new metal work. And then, does that have an Art Morrison chassis or is that factory chassis, just front flip? So Firebird's gonna be really cool as well. I wanna say, is this a twin turbo? No, it's gonna be uh, with the 455. A Pontiac? Yeah, it's just gonna be a Pontiac motor okay. with a uh, dry sump because the car's gonna be so low. Okay. So it's on JRI shocks, just like uh, Paul's Nova. Yep. But we did all around. So the car is gonna have to be raised, unlike Paul's. Paul's just raises to go over something. So this car is gonna be designed, it's gonna be, its raised state is gonna be driving. And then be, when you go to a show or anything like that, you'll- Dump it. Dump it and it'll drop another two inches or so. So this would be definitely a pretty, I know they've been having a hard time with the front end being stock. It's not Z or anything like that. So, and then trying to fit. So this would probably be, I don't know if anyone's ever been done yet, but they're doing a dry sump and uh, some of the dry sump stuff is gonna be from like the newer style, like LS7 right. style stuff. So it looks like they got the dry there. sump up front mounted. Yeah, so I think they already have it mounted. Yeah. And then they're building another tank because they had to chop it. Cause the tank was actually, uh, probably about this tall before <laughs> so they chopped the bottom off but now we lost quartz so they're making another tank that's going to be mounted up in here uh -huh. that's going to hold your more oil so yeah it's definitely going to be a, a pretty good car once it's done so when you're shopping for cars and you wonder why things are priced so much it's because of the amount of work that goes in just to make some of these cars functional. Obviously we list a lot of vehicles for sale and everyone's like, oh, the price is so crazy. Um, and most of them are at a fraction of the build cost. You don't realize what, unless you've been through this process before, you don't realize how much work just to fab some of the different pieces, what goes into it, what is behind the scenes. I mean, the Anglia that we showed earlier today, there's two build books of that car just the dash they spent three months on the dash yeah right just the um, extra body work that you don't even notice that's been done all the metal work inside and outside that car is you know you, how do you even calculate it yeah, um astronomical. at least with this car sheet metal wise it mostly came back uh and it was mini tubs so obviously that stuff was going to get cut out anyway uh four pan wise pretty sure it's just the driver front had i'm assuming one of the t-tops possibly leaked over time uh, it was a barn fine, but here in Huber Heights. So it really wasn't uh, a whole lot wrong with it to begin with. So it wasn't a whole lot of sheet metal. Now, the front fenders were pretty messed up and with the factory hood or aftermarket hood and everything, we ended up having to go back to the stock fenders. So that did add a lot of time because they had to 
they split and added in the new fender into the old fender because when we had the wheels built by Forge Line, uh, we measured off the stock fenders. Well, the aftermarket fenders were actually almost a half inch narrower, um, including <laughs> on both sides. So we lost a quarter inch on both sides. So now the wheels hit. So we had to forcibly go back to the old fenders to now make it work, even though they weren't really salvageable. I mean, where the front flip and everything would be mounted, right. it had rust. So, but it's it's the stuff you run into like that. That's you got to make it work. Yeah, you got to make it work. Stuff that's already made, and I say like we can't remanufacture everything. So right. Uh, but I mean, things happen. You run into stuff and builds all the time. So yeah, you just got to keep going with it. Uh, I think they're they've been doing it quite a bit. I know Matt made the the firewall and stuff a while back. That came out pretty good. Uh, he made the one on the Buick as well. Uh, they, we actually just finished up the steering wheel. It just got sent off to get anodized uh, along with the classic gauges. The gauges are going to match and uh, they wanted the anodizing to also match the steering wheel as well. So I think the, whoever classic sends theirs to, we send it to classic and classic was going to send it to her. Right. So we should get everything back all at the same time. Right. But I mean, it's a really good, cool build. So it'll be uh, really cool when it's done. Uh, this is the second car that uh, Scott has had done by us. Yeah. Uh, the 57 is a nice car, so. Yeah. Well, that is it from Low Main Rods today. Just another quick glint, uh, glimpse in here. Obviously, we come back eh, every so often because it seems like they always have something in here from us uh, periodically, um, whether it's service or a build. Again, we'll get the Murrock out of here, and then we'll... Um, I'm actually on the way, hopefully today or tomorrow, to get tires. We'll get those all shaved inside and out and mount it back and then get the Murrock home. But hopefully in the coming months, the five window will be here um, just to do some metal work. Some of that will be shown, some of that will be secret. We cannot show everything on the five window build because again, we have to keep some things a surprise. You will not know the color. You can guess whatever color. I'll just tell you that it's gonna be like a fluorescent pink and, and that's what color we'll paint it. So uh, that's, that's humor, my humor and sarcasm. So until the next time, Check out OpposingCylinders.com for all the listings where there's 120 plus. We have three new listings this week. We have more coming each and every week and activity is starting to pick up. So if you see something, jump on it quick. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you like today's content. Comment below which was your favorite vehicle that we showed today. And uh, we appreciate you following. We'll see you on the road. A lot of trips coming up here soon and we're gonna be driving at Murak. See you in the future.